up everyone, I'm Jamie. And I'm JB. And today we're trying some spicy chips from Trader Joe's. What, what? So what do you got over there? I got some Spice? sriracha. And I've got ghost pepper. Uh, These we've... sound really hot. And ghost pepper, everything we've eaten so far with ghost pepper in it, never tastes good. It's gross. Just the flavor of ghost pepper is disgusting. Yeah, it's not even necessarily the spice. It's just the flavor of ghost pepper alone just doesn't have a very good flavor. Mm -mm. I think these are gonna be good. I think these are gonna be good but too. But they say kettle chips, and a lot of times kettle chips are a little bit too hard. But I've never had kettle like Chris or uh, um, what do you call them? Wavy kettle chips? Uh, what is that? Latisse cut? Mm. Latisse cut. Latisse cut? How do you say that word? I don't know. <laughs> Let's we'll try them out. Ooh, these are they cut the same smell good. These what are, do yours smell Let's go like? ahead for yours first because I don't think they'll be as spicy. Smell them. Smell they them. smell really good. They almost Ooh, remind they me of a barbecue chip. All right, I've got a big giant chip here. Oh, they're just like this weird cut. I don't it's know if like you guys a waffle can see cut that. almost. Yeah, it almost looks like a waffle cut. Or like cut. the fence, like the latisse or lattice fence. Okay, let's go for it. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 That's not too hard. Okay. I like the texture. It's got a good flavor. I'm not really tasting sriracha. Mm-mm. There's really not a whole lot of zing. It's almost like the dressed all over chips. That's what it is. I was trying to figure out what it reminded me of. I was thinking of. that those, uh, I don't know if you guys have had the Lay's dressed all over chips or all dressed up, whatever they're called. All dressed. All dressed. These are pretty good. Mm-hmm. They almost mm. taste like they have like a cheese coating to them. You know, it actually kind of does have mm -hmm. like a powdery cheese. I actually really like the thickness of these. Like I said, um, kettle chips are usually really freaking hard. We have some in the other room and they almost break your teeth. Yeah, so. they almost want to break your teeth when you mm -hmm. put them on a sandwich. They're like too hard. You got to like uh, bite down in them. These are just a little bit thick. They're not super hard, but not they're not super thin. These would be killer on a sandwich. Yeah, they kind of remind me of a thicker version of Lay's potato chips. So See, if you get their wavy potato chips, just a thicker there's version. There's a little bit of spice hitting me now. Yeah. There's a little bit of spice hitting my throat. These are good. Oh, man. I'll bash these ones later. What about okay. those? Let's try these. Man, I really like these. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope these ones are just as good. I hope so too. Ready? They look like they're made Let's the smell same. Smell it. It just smells like pepper. Almost like it's going to be like a sea Ooh, salt does, and vinegar. Like a black like pepper. A salt and vinegar pepper kind of mm -hmm. a thing. Cheers. All right. They're a little mm. spicier. They're almost like a chipotle kind of. I like this better. This has got more flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's definitely spicier than the other ones. It's not hot, like. Not at all. This wouldn't hold a candle to like the flaming Hot Cheetos or anything like that. We actually did a hot chip challenge from the Dollar Tree. You guys can watch <laughs> that, I'll put it up here somewhere. But this, I wouldn't even say this is hot, um, even as hot as any of those chips. Yeah, not at all. Up. They're really good. This I would be really good with sandwiches. Must be a, very mild ghost pepper. This would be killer with sandwiches. The flavor is so much better mm. than I thought. I'm telling you, ghost peppers usually taste disgusting, and this is really flavorful. Flavorful? Flavorful. Flavorful. <laughs> it has a really good spice to it. I really, yes. really, really like the texture of these. I don't the know if you have a, awesome. I don't know if you have a Trader Joe's near you. I would for sure go try these out if you like mm -hmm. anything, anything spicy. Like I said, we're not. They're not super spicy. They're just a little bit of a kick to them. But these are really good. I'd be excited to see what these taste like on a sandwich, like a grilled cheese or with some kind of dip or something. Peanut butter and jelly with that on the side Ooh, would be peanut awesome. Peanut butter and jelly. I do like some barbecue chips on a peanut butter sandwich. Mm -hmm. mm, peanut butter, lettuce, and pickle is one of my all-time oh, favorite so sneaky sandwiches. Um, so good. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Peace. I am surprised about how good these chips are. Yes. These almost remind me of the cheddar and sour cream. The ruffles? Yeah, the ruffles. Mm, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. That's it's why A little bit of a spice to them. 10 out of 10 on the texture. They're thick, but they're not hard. What's up, everyone? I'm Jamie. And I'm JV. Oops. Pretty hey, good. Hey, wiggly fingers. Ooh.